गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट येस्टडे वी स्टार्टेड द सेकेंड और द नेक्स्ट लेसन ऑफ द ग्रामर दैट इज नाउन्स सिंग्युलर एंड प्लूरल ओके कैन यू टेल मी वॉट इज मीन बाय नाउन येस द नेमिंग वर्ड्स आर कॉल्ड नाउन और द नेम ऑफ अ पर्टिक्युलर थिंग प्लेस पर्सन और पीपल एनिमल बर्ड्स एट्सेट्रा इज कॉल्ड नाउन सो दिस नाउन वी कैन राइट बाय टू वेज दैट इज सिंग्युलर एंड प्लूरल सो देर आर सम रूल्स टू मेक द प्लूरल नाउन एंड दे आर द नाउन विच एंड्स इन एस डबल एस एस एच सी एच और एक्स we add es the noun which ends in o or w e usually add es add s to some singular noun and add either s or es to singular nouns some nouns can take either the noun which ends in a e o or u before y we add s the noun ends in a consonant and y we change the y to i and add es the noun ends in a vowel and y we add s the noun ends in f or fe we change the f or fe to v add and add es okay so these are some rules now we'll continue for the next rule and that is some nouns have the same form for both singular and plural dear dear ship ship fish fish cod cod so the exercise question number b is in the sentence some words are given in a bracket so we have to write the correct plural form of the noun which is given in the bracket so the first one is all the dash were in the pen the word is or the noun is ship so what is the plural form of, for this word yes it's a ship only second one don't clench your dash in the bracket tooth what is the plural form for the tooth yes correct it is teeth so in this way we have to solve this question by writing the plural form of the noun which is given in the bracket next is nouns ending in ese or double s used to refer to citizens of countries have the same singular and plural forms for example japanese is a singular word so the plural 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 form is japanese only taiwanese it's a taiwanese portuguese portuguese libanese libanese vietnamese vietnamese and swiss the plural form for this is swiss only why it is because these are the citizens of countries and they have same singular and plural form for example my neighbor is japanese this is the singular my neighbors are japanese this is the plural form got it so here the question number c fill in the blank spaces by writing the correct plural form of the noun given in the box the first letter of the word is given as a clue in the bracket 
and the words are in the help box are Swiss, Japanese, Lebanese, Portuguese, Vietnamese. The first sentence is We have one dash in our school and the clue is S. So what will be the answer? Yes, Swiss. Second one Several dash visited the factories in India. The clue is J. What will be the answer? Japanese. Correct. The number of dash have settled down in Goa. The clue is P. So what will be the answer? Yes, correct. It's a Portuguese. Fourth one. Many dash have grown a variety of crops on mountain slopes in this region. Clue is L. So the answer is Lebanese. Last, people who belong to Vietnam are called dash and the clue is V. Yes, so the answer is Vietnamese. Next rule, some nouns ending in IES have the same singular and plural forms. Yes, some nouns are ending by IES. Their plural form is the same. For example, series. Plural form is series only. Species. Species. The sentences. The Indian team is playing only one series this year. Plural. The Indian team has played many series against Australia. So here one series, many series. The tiger is an endangered species. Many species of plants are found in this area. Do you know one thing? The nouns whose singular and plural forms are the same are called zero plurals. What we call? Zero plurals. Yes. So the next question is Circle the incorrect use of the plural form of the noun in these sentences and rewrite the sentences correctly. It means in the sentence the words are given in to incorrect plural forms. We have to identify that mistake, circle it and we have to write the correct plural form of that word. First one, gooses are large birds which look like ducks. Is it correct? No. Here, gooses is the incorrect word. So, we have to circle it and write down the correct plural form that is geese. Second one, a dentist is a doctor who takes care of our tooths. Is it a correct form? No. Tooths is the incorrect plural form. So what is the correct plural form for it? Yes, it's a teeth. Correct. Third one, there were more women at the cinema than men's. Is it correct? No. Women's is the incorrect word. So circle it and write down the correct spelling. Women. And second another one is man's is also incorrect plural form. So circle it and write down main. Understood? So in this way we have to complete this question number D. Yes. The next rule is, some nouns are used only in the singular or the plural. It means they are not used in the both, either singular or plural. Nouns always used in the singular are fruit, mathematics, politics, furniture, news, knowledge, information, Advice, rickets. These nouns are always used in the singular form. Huh, one thing is there. 
When we refer to a variety, we use the word fruits. It means they are showing the variety of fruits. And the nouns which are always used in the plural are people, police, poultry, clothes, binoculars, pyjamas, headphones, sunglasses, scissors. Yes. For names of tools and clothing which are always used in the plural, we use the words pairs of the refer to one or more of them. For example, I bought a pair of binoculars today. Uncle Sumit has four pairs of shoes. Yes, sometimes when we are using tools or clothing, we use always plural for it. And we use the words pairs of. So like this, we have to solve this question number F. Fill in the blanks with the correct form of the nouns in the bracket. First one, I bought a dash pyjamas today. Pair of pyjamas. My sister gifted two dash jeans to me. Pair of jeans. Third number. Dash mathematics is one of my favorite subject. Mathematics. So like this way we have to complete question number E. Now the next question is. Fill in the missing letters in the column B. Then match the parts in the column A with the appropriate plural or Singular noun in column B. For example, it is a herd of dash. What will be the answer? It is a herd of dash and the answer is Cattle. It means B. So, we have to write like this. C A double T L E. Cattle. Got it? Second one, Grandma lost her pair of dash. And the answer is spectacles. It's A. Third one, his favorite subject is dash. And the answer is E, mathematics. Fourth number, aquariums are full of dash. And the answer is, yes, correct, fishes, D. Fifth one, I have a pair of black dash. And the answer is, C, that is, trousers. Correct. So, in this way, we have finished the second chapter of the grammar, that is, nouns, singular and plural. So, here is the summary of this lesson. Take a short recap. Thank you.